Hi guys, John here. In this video, I'm going to review iPage.com. We're going to test their support, talk about the features they offer, and I'm going to tell you some things about iPage that you really need to know about before you sign up. The first thing I want to do is talk about iPage's features. You get unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, and you can host as many websites as you want. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware of this, but there is no such thing as unlimited web hosting. If you look at iPage's terms of service, you'll see that it's not truly unlimited. If you use too many resources, they'll give you a warning and ask you to reduce your usage. And this isn't limited to just iPage, it applies to every company that offers unlimited web hosting. This won't be a problem for most people, but I just thought everyone should be aware of what unlimited hosting really means. iPage also offers you a free domain name for the first year, but I actually recommend that you buy your domain through Namecheap or GoDaddy. It's cheaper in the long run and you'll have a lot more control over your domain name. You also get a free website builder free advertising credits with Bing and Facebook, unlimited email addresses, and a money-back guarantee. There's one more thing you should be aware of, and iPage doesn't make it very obvious, but the promotional price that you see on iPage's website only applies to your first term. So after the first year, or after two years, depending on which plan you chose, you then start paying the regular rate, and the regular rate is currently $9.49 a month if you pay yearly iPage has special promotions all the time. I've seen their prices as low as $1 a month if you prepay for two years. So I definitely recommend buying two years up front if you can afford it. That way you get locked into that really low price. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at iPage's control panel because they don't use cPanel, which is what most people are familiar with. So if you're like me and you're accustomed to using cPanel, it's going to take some getting used to. And their control panel is really easy to use, it's just different, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Now we're going to test iPage's support. The first thing I'm going to do is see how long it takes iPage to respond to support tickets. And I've already sent iPage two support tickets. The first ticket I sent on July 17th and I asked, how can I see what version of PHP my website is using? I submitted this ticket at 10.46 p.m. and they responded at 11.04 p.m. So for this ticket, it took them 18 minutes to respond. The second ticket I sent on July 18th and I asked, how do I create a new email account? I submitted this ticket at 2.23 a.m. and they responded at 2.29 a.m. So for this support ticket, it took them six minutes to respond. iPage also has 24-7 American phone support, and to me, that's a big deal. I don't know about you, but I hate it when companies outsource their phone support to India or some other country. And I've called iPage before, and it literally took less than a minute before I was on the phone with a real person. I actually wanted to let you guys listen in while I called their phone support, but for legal reasons I wasn't able to do that. However, if you are thinking about signing up for iPage, or any web host for that matter, I'd encourage you to call their technical support yourself just to test them out. It's always a good thing to do before signing up for a new web host. Before I finish this review, I want to test iPage's support one more time. I'm actually going to break my website on purpose, and then we're going to contact iPage and ask them for help. So this is what my website looks like right now. It's basically just the default WordPress installation. I'm going to log into my WordPress admin panel, then I'm going to go to settings, and then general. Now I'm going to add an extra character to both my WordPress address and my site address. Now I'm going to save the changes. And it's now giving us a server not found error because of that extra character we added. And if you go to my website's homepage, this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it doesn't look nearly as nice as it did a minute ago. So now that I've successfully broken my website, I'm going to submit a support ticket to iPage asking for help, and we're going to see how long it takes them to fix my website. Here's the support ticket I sent. I just told them that I was making changes to my website, and now it's messed up. I don't know how long it's going to take them to respond, so I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I submitted the support ticket at 6.36 p.m., and as of 9.20 p.m., they still hadn't responded. I got tired of waiting, so I'm going to contact them on live chat instead. So it took less than 30 seconds before my live chat was answered, and I'm telling them the same thing. I was making changes to my website, and now it's messed up. I don't know how long this is going to take, so I'm going to pause the video again, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So the entire chat took about 23 minutes. Most of the time I was just waiting because they had to put me on hold a few times. They told me that my website is fixed now, so I'm about to check it out. Just let me refresh the page, and it's fixed. And here's the full transcript of the chat for those of you that are interested. If you look at the duration, the entire chat was 22 minutes and 57 seconds. And if you're having a hard time reading it, I also posted a copy of the transcript on my website. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And before you sign up for iPage, make sure you check out the links in the About section below my video.